Welcome to a socially distanced edition of Inside the Cougar Den. I'm Jerry Milani, and I'm joined by the newest addition to the Caldwell University and Caldwell Athletics coaching staff. She's a 2010 graduate of Pace University mm -hmm. and a Staten Island native and uh, was the coach at Concordia College and our native or our friends at Concordia for the CACC, Christy Conforti. Christy, welcome to Caldwell, first of all. Thank you. Thank you very, very much for having me. It's great to have you as part of the women's basketball program, which you know as a fellow member of the mm -hmm. CACC for several years, uh, is a program that's been on the upswing for a while, has had some great success. And, you know, talk a little bit about how your familiarity with the school and with the conference kind of helped in this kind of next move for you. Yeah, I mean, just, just playing here um, over the last seven years as a head coach, nine years just in the program in general, um, you know, we've, we've come to Caldwell every year. Um, obviously, a lot of success over the years here, and just, you know, I think being here and being able to build and, and continue on that success is, is the goal for sure. Now, talk about for you, as we mentioned, Staten Island, so you're, you're mm -hmm. a, an area resident for mm -hmm. you know, your whole life, how being able to stay in this region and stay in the conference kind of helps you. Yeah, I mean, like you said before, just being familiar with the CACC, being familiar um, with the rec uh, recruiting landscape, um, just knowing New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, um, you know, the schools that we play against in the conference, you know, I think that'll help start my personal journey here and uh, playing against the CACC opponents. So even though you've obviously seen our team play mm -hmm. a lot, you've prepared for our team, you've defeated our team a few mm -hmm. times uh, in the past, you didn't get to know the players, though, individually. So have you had a chance to meet any of them? Have you had a chance to talk to the team? What's kind of been the impression so far? Yeah, I mean, you know, we've certainly had our share of, of tough games against Caldwell, and then, you know, we were able to pull out a few uh, while at my time, you know, during my time at Concordia. Um, but we were able to connect just on Zoom, unfortunately, you know, with COVID and us having these masks on. Everybody's, um, there's only a few student athletes still here. The rest are at home, so just, you know, looking forward to connecting with them even more and getting to work when they get back in the fall. Now, you mentioned that, and it's an, it's an interesting mix of players that are back. It's, there's a, it's a young team because mm -hmm. there's a lot of freshmen and maybe some new players coming that missed the year because of COVID, but there's also some players who have been here a while. So, you know, as players, you can see kind of their style. What's your style, and how do you think it meshes with what is returning? Right. Well, this team has a lot of talent. Um, I know some you know had to stay home because of the pandemic so i think having those players back is going to certainly help um there's a lot of size a lot of ability on this team and we're just excited to get going i know that um maybe styles you know the style might be you know i, I know what they're capable of just from you know preparing for them so mixing that in with you know the way that i like to play um i think will be a, a recipe for success for sure and your Concordia program was decidedly on the upswing mm -hmm. uh, as we've got to the last couple of years. In fact, this past year, first NCAA appearance ever for the school and mm -hmm. you know, for Caldwell. That just came a few years ago. Uh, talk about your NCAA experience and kind of how that helps you as a coach moving forward. Yeah, I mean, it was a great experience just to be playing the best of the best. Um, you know, it was great to get there, especially under the circumstances that we were in. Um, but I think it's, you know, it just helps prepare for that moment and hopefully sooner than later. And, uh, you know, I think there'll be a lot of big games here in the future for sure. Have you talked to Paula Ditz about her last second shot that was a half a second tick too late <laughs> in the playoff game? I haven't. I haven't. But, you know, we'll, we'll work towards uh, maybe that being a, a half second <laughs> too soon, you know, coming up. So um, we're excited for sure. Um, she's a great all-conference player and uh, the rest of the group as well so it's 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 going to be great what are your goals for the program short term long term I know you've only been here a week but yeah. what, what's kind of your overall goals I mean it's just you know like I said earlier I think the last 10 years there's been a lot of success here I think that you can win in this conference I think that you could do really well at Caldwell and I think the goal is to compete for championships every year um, but just keep building in the right direction and I think good things will happen for Coach Christy Conforti, I'm Jerry Milani. Thanks for joining us inside the Cougars Den.